Editing our joke script using a systematic layered process with the editing software of Camtasia, adding first the audio track, putting on top of that the AI images, then adding movie memes and movie clips for the practice joke topic, the news topic of Trump trial and Robert De Niro. Here we are in our Camtasia editing software, noting that the process we're putting together can be applied to other editing softwares as well. We're putting together a formal layered type approach, which I have found to be quite efficient, where first we lay down the audio track. And then on top of the audio track, we add our AI images and possibly having enough AI images to convert it into almost a cartoon. The AI images adding almost a bit of motion on the screen. And then into that, we're going to be adding our movie clips, our movie memes. That said, for what I do, Camtasia is a really good software. It's the easiest software that I have used and worked with although not the cheapest software I have used and work with. For what I do, I don't typically record with a camera that I'm gonna then import into the software. Sometimes I use a webcam, but typically I just do screencasting and Camtasia does the screen capturing uh, quite easily. And then typically I'll add editing to that, such as AI images and movie memes and clips, which Camtasia handles quite well. It has more sophisticated editing software with this kind of track format so that we can add and layer uh, multiple tracks into Camtasia. Some other editing softwares are a little bit more simplified. More simplified makes it easier to do the editing, but you often lose functionality for different types of editing. And then more sophisticated software almost sometimes has too many options like an Adobe Premiere or something like that might be a step up, for example, where if you're doing a lot of editing of uh, movies that you're importing, then you might have certain things uh, for movie clips that maybe Camtasia doesn't have. But for simple editing of basically screen capture and uh, screen capture recordings and like movies of your face with a webcam or something like that, I find Camtasia to work quite well. Although again, it's not like the cheapest uh, software, especially just for screen capture. Uh, just to note, I the software that I used before this was, uh, it, it's now called ScreenPal. And I'm actually using ScreenPal right now to record this because I'm now recording a screen capture of Camtasia. They also have an editing component to their software, but the editing component isn't as sophisticated as Camtasia. It used to work fine for me before I started adding like AI images and movie clips and whatnot, and, it's, and it works quite well. You can also have a combination of these two things, meaning you might use something like a screen paddle or some kind of easy thing to edit with or a cheap thing to edit with, and then you can find other editing softwares which can't do the screen recording, but can do editing in a fairly sophisticated way. So in that case, you'd be doing a two-step process instead of having one software editing and then recording you edit with what you record with one software and then you do the editing in another software that's probably the cheapest way to go because you could probably find a free or or somewhat much cheaper recording software of just screen recordings and then find software that is editing that's also quite cheaper than possibly Camtasia but if you have the money to to do the screen to pay for Camtasia when my business started doing better I paid for Camtasia <laughs> and it's and it's uh it is easier uh, in my opinion all right and so then on we're imagining now that we have put together our tools so what I started with is we had a script now I'm not going to get into the details of how to put together the joke script and so on and so forth that's another course or lecture, we're going to imagine that we have it down at this point, And I want to just go over the structure of the script, remembering that I'm talking, the thing that interests me is political comedy, satire type stuff, which means that I'm coming from a particular angle, which typically is a more conservative political satire kind of angle, which could put off some people. So if you disagree with me in terms of my, in terms of my little skit here, then try not to be offended and so you could still pick up you could still pick up the skills and apply that to whatever it is that 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 you want to do. I use these topics because again, 
they're, they're interesting to me and therefore it makes me want to do these more than if I pick some topic that is just boring just because the algorithm won't trash me <laughs> if, I, if I have to pick that topic instead of another one. Dang algorithm always trying to tell me what to do. You ain't my mom algorithm. You ain't, I can do what I, I can say whatever I want on this thing. All right, anyways. So now we're gonna, so we're gonna be putting this together. So this is gonna be the script. And then I'm gonna imagine that I put the script together in such a way that I can read the script and then I can add my AI images and my movie clips, which I've already added over here. So what I would like to do is have all of my resources done when by the time I record the script so that the whole recording and editing process goes as smoothly as possible. So I've done all the behind the scenes work of making a script that refers back to my resources that is easy to read and then I can just pull in my resources easily. So how, how, how would I structure that? I've done different structures over, over the years that I've been doing this. I, I basically try to put my script together and break the lines up as I read the script. And, and I think Winston Churchill did something like this when he was reading all of his you know scripts and whatnot. He would break it up kind of like a poetry or when there's a line break so that when he read it, there would be a natural break in the line, which I think is easier to read than a straight paragraph. And that might seem obvious, but I mean, you might not, if you haven't done this a lot, you might not think about that. And that also gives you the, the space to stop and in those stop points, that gives you a place to, to write your notes like you might do in like a movie script. In this case, my notes are, are going to be, hey, is there an AI image that I can put in here? And is there a movie clip that might work within this gap between me talking that I can put a nice meme in or possibly I can put the movie over the top of of what I'm talking about without the audio so those are some things that you might then put in the notes over here and so that's how I've structured this and then I've also put in if I have a script where I'm changing my voice from one character to another I've changed the color here to represent the different characters so for me um, this is going to be the, the president, Joe Biden. He's going to be in red. And then this goes to uh, the there's a gangster in the script uh, that's talking. And then there's a and then there's another gangster with another color. And and then the white is the normal. So that I've put my little key down here, which I don't really need a key because I probably just know it. OK, myself. But that's one way I can put the script together. So so that's it's kind of like a little movie script now. And then I've added, and then I went in and I added, based on these keywords, the resources. So I don't want to get into detail on how exactly I added the resources, but just to note, because that's in another course or section. But the movie clips, one place to go is I went to this Yarn website, which is sorting movie clips by like five minute clips. And if I find it here, then I download it. I download those clips over here and I've numbered them so that I can add them into my script in numerical order and refer to these numbers. And then if I find it on the YouTube or if I find it on a streaming platform or something like that, I'm going to reference it in my script with a YouTube link, possibly, and then a, a note on the time on the YouTube script so that I can record it real time, possibly, from the, from the YouTubes being careful, of course, to stay within the boundaries of fair use. And then with the AI images, this is the main one that I think adds a lot of value that people aren't really taking advantage of as much th from what I have seen. Because it used to be that if you wanted a cartoon script, like the old Bugs Bunny cartoon, for example, took a whole lot of time because the person had to write, you know, image after image. And you could, and it, and, if you wanted to write a custom script, you had to do it in a newspaper, basically, because you had to draw out a scene by scene, like in a comic book. But now, of course, you've got the AI images. So you can't really draw like someone running as easily because then you'd have to say, OK, put the arm over here so he's running. You could see his arms moving and so on. But you can put together a kind of a movie with multiple scripts with one person talking to another person, going back to the other person 
and have some simple animation in it and so and so that's my main focus here so i've i've gone in and i've added these ai images now i like using uh, this chat gpt but it's four you have to pay for this one if you have microsoft you might have copilot which is free and these are both driven by i think uh dolly is the underlying one and it seems to be quite good at drawing things that are kind of unusual like draw me draw me a horse with oranges for feet or something like that like it's gonna like who would think to do that but it might fit in your joke and it follows directions pretty well to actually be able to draw that right so you can draw things that are way wacky that you wouldn't really kind of expect and then you can kind of create you know a movie image out of that so i've downloaded those here and once again i've numbered them now when i download these it usually downloads as a dot w some something something file so I can't really pull those into Camtasia. So I usually say file, save as. And then I'm going to save it when I, when I download it. I save it as and then I change it to a JPEG and then I number it. And when I number it, I'm usually going to, to give it a number and maybe a decimal because sometimes if it's a repeat thing that's going to come up a lot, then I might make multiple images. So like for this one, I gave it the same prompt. It gave me two images and that allows me to do like cartoon kind of thing, right? I can use this image and then change to this image, which is basically the same, but it's different enough to be interesting. Uh, and it gives you a, like a little bit of an animation thing, right? Because it's going to be a movie clip when we put in the Camtasia going from here to here or the mobster. I have this mobster and then this mobster and then this mobster and this mobster. So they don't look exactly the same, but it's still, you get the same kind of movie feel when I go from this mobster to this mobster to this mobster to this mobster, and they're all kind of the same person, but you can still see from the story, they're all mobsters and it gives you kind of a movement. Same thing with this one. Here's the judge with a, with a wielding the gavel like a hammer. So you have different, different ones of them. So I can refer back to that running bit, that running gag, but have it be a little bit different of an image, making it a little bit uh, more interesting. That's how I see it. So that's what I'm, so then, so then the next thing I would do is just simply record this laying down the audio script first. So now I've got everything down. I can just read this through line by line. I can pause where the line breaks are a little bit as I read it. That's the natural pause points. And I can change my tonality of voice to, to, different characters if I want to draw my script that way which I did in this case so going from different characters and then I can simply you know I'd record this of course and then I would just record the script and I could record it just with the audio so I don't need the visual here and I wouldn't need to record the the this audio I would just need the system audio and once I record that then I'll have my base layer down here that I can then layer on top of. So now I'm going to say, okay, there's my dude, that court case was a total shame. So there's my base layer that I can put down. And then if you have your, your, your screen, like if you're putting yourself in it, you have a webcam, then of course that you can switch from your, your full face as part of your joke back to, back to the images. For me, I just don't do the, the, the webcam and I'm going to try to do everything with basically the, the uh, images. So now I've got this referenced. So this is, dude, that court case was a total sham. So instead of me having myself on the camera, I'm going to add something that kind of refers to the person talking. So I'm going to say, and I have some uh, stock images here. So I had this guy, so I can just pull this this guy in, and that's gonna be the narrator. So here's the narrator. And so it's gonna be like, dude, that, that court case was a total sham. The legal system wielded like a weapon to attack presidential political rival. And then I have uh, 16, 100, and 120. So I'm gonna say, hopefully I had 16, well, here's 100, and then here's uh, 120 with 110 on, on top of that. So I could say, okay, so what was I trying to say here? I was trying to say, dude, 
that court case. So now that court case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and most of my images. So now notice I'm not going to bounce back and forth between my images and my movie clips. I'm just going to do one at a time. I think that's the easiest layered approach to do because, and that's in part because my movie clips are going to be inside of here. And therefore, once I add the images, I can then, I can then group everything together and then put, cut everything to add the movie clips in between. So, so that's why I think this layered approach works well. So then I'm, it works also better if we had two screens, right? So I'm going to bounce back and forth from two screens. So here's my, my, my court case. So 100. So I'm going to start with the formal, uh, court case. So I'm going to say I cut this. So maybe then I put this on this side so we could still see this is the narrator and then I'll pull this over here. And so continue and then boom. So most of the AI images, cause I didn't change the size of the image are defaulting to this square, which has, I've gotten used to because that allows me to put two images on the screen as I tell the story. So as I tell the story, I typically put the new thing on the left and the old thing on the right. So it's kind of panning through the story. Now I've also been experimenting maybe with having someone talk. You can use these behaviors. So when this guy's talking over here, then you could say, was a total sham. so now he's, he's like bouncing when he, when he's talking. Let me try this one. I haven't really experimented with this too much. Case was a total sham. The legal system will right, but you can you, you can and you can you can adjust the, the 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 just have the bounce rather than than him shifting in with the with the behaviors over here. I haven't dealt with that too much, but I think that could be a useful tool. Court case was a total sham. The legal system. So now I'm going to cut this again, and I'm going to cut this guy out completely. I'm and whoop. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to put this down here and then pull this onto this side. And then I'm going to put my new image over here, which I, I said I wanted to have this guy wielding this thing as like a, as like a hatchet, right? So I'm going to say, all right, let's pull that in. So I'm going to say, pull this one in and then continue to. And so now we've got this guy here. And so that's my new scene. And then I'm going to pull this thing on top of it. And I want to show him like wielding this gavel like it's, it's, you know, a war hammer. So now the gavel is messing everything up. Notice that this gavel, I told ChatGTP to just give me this gavel with a, with a blank background so that I can remove the background. Now, in some, now if you, if you have other editing software, you can remove the background before you upload it. In Camtasia, they've got this effect, which is right here under the visual effects called background removal. So it makes it really easy. It doesn't work perfectly all the time, but it works pretty good a lot of the time. And this one, it worked perfect, right? It just removed the background, boom. And now here's this guy wielding his, his war gavel, uh, as the judge. <laughs> He's ready to whack someone. And then I might, you might, you might even add like Trump underneath the war gavel or something wielded like a weapon to attack a presidential political and so here's the end of that bit political rival yeah and so then so then the next one sometimes and then and then the next one so i'm not going to get into the movie clips we'll talk about that later and then and then who would have thought we'd we'd see the sad banana republic day so the images i have biden and uh 130 so, so here's, uh, 130. And then I have other images of just the politicians. So let me open those ones up. So here's all my images of, of like Biden. You can find a bunch of political images. You can't make them typically on the AI generators anymore. You used to be able to, but they banned that. So now we're going to say, okay. So now I wanted to do, uh, who would have thought the sad banana Republic day in America? So I'm going to pull this over and say, okay. A political rival. Yeah. And then, so let's cut this here. I'm going to say, boom, boom. Now, when I cut it, it actually gives me this little clip of an image. So I can see all these. I'm going to cut this one and then pull this one down and then put this on this side. 
And so, and then I can flip the hammer now. I can flip it to say I want that going 180 degrees on the Y axis. So now I flipped it. So I just converted everything. So it's on the other side here. He's got his war hammer so that then I can pull in good old Joe Biden. So here's an image. <laughs> this is where they canceled me. This is where, but I don't care if the YouTubes don't like it. I think just as, I mean, how can you not put that face on there? It's hilarious in and of itself. And I don't care if, cause I'm a, I'm a soul tuber, man. I'm a soul tuber. I do it for the, for the thrill. Okay. So in any case, we're going to add, then I can remove the background on it. And so, so now we can put, oh, and then up top, I can crop it. So here's my cropping things. So I was going to crop it this way. And so we can say, boom. And then we can put the banana republic image, which I found an image with bananas on the American flag. It's disgraceful. And then I'm going to put this in here for crying out loud. All right. And then I can crop that maybe down to like here. So I just have the flag and then boom. And so Biden Biden brings in the bananas and calls it a republic. <laughs> Biden's bananas. Yeah, All right. Who would have thought we'd see this sad banana republic day in America? So there we have that bit. So I can pull that maybe over to here. And then I'm holding down shift to have all the tracks that I'll pull that over. Let's see the next one. And then he says, no, you don't understand. So, so now he's, he's going to say that you don't, un you don't understand. So I had Biden here. So I'll keep it. I'll actually keep that. No. And then maybe over here. Biden's going to be talking for a while. So I'm going to be switching up the Biden image. So I'm going to cut all these. And so maybe I, I switch up the Biden image. So it's something new. So I'm going to say, let's get rid of this Biden one. And let's see what else we've got for Biden. We've got a lot of great stuff. I don't even, I haven't even downloaded the new ones. That <laughs> so here's another one. And but notice that these images as well, when you download them, you might have to change the format from a web image to like a JPEG. So here's another one. No. And then you can change the background. And so, and so now you've got just him there. We could crop it. And so, so there is here. And here's where we can kind of make him almost animated by just changing his images, right? So we're going to say, no. You don't understand. So now we're going to say, you don't understand. So let's add a different one for that one. And so I'm going to say, let's add a different one. Let's keep this going out a bit. And then this is, I have a pointing one where he's like, this is always a good one. He's put, he's got a good point here. You dog face pony soldier. I'll tell you what, come on, man. Come on, man. So we have, so when he says, you don't understand. And so then we have the pointy one. Oh, that's too big. What in the world happened? So I'm holding down control and then shifting in. I'm going to put this back to fitting. Okay, there we go. Oh, I did it again. Why are you doing that? You're making me look stupid, Camtasia. I don't know. Stand. It's not political. It's not political. <laughs> it's not political. And then, so, so again, see how the, the images kind of make the text, uh, a lot of the time. And so like, here's another good one. So we got, we put this one here. And so, so let's remove the background on that one. Remove the background if we could. Perfecto, just like Mundo would do it. My friend Mundo is a perfectionist. So that's why I coined the term 
perfecto mundo. Perfecto just like mundo would do it, the perfectionist. So let's see what we have now. And so we have public day in America. No. So if I just so it almost looks like a pretty like a movie screen, pretty easy to put together. That court case was a total sham. The legal system wielded like a weapon. I almost like I almost think I'm thinking behaviors on this gavel. Could I put a gavel so it like so it moves? Legal system wielded like a weapon to attack a presidential political rival. Yeah, who, who would have thought we'd see this sad banana republic day in America? So now Biden's gonna talk. What if I give him a behavior? I'm experimenting a little bit here with a behavior. No. <laughs> We'll do another one with this one where he bounces. You don't understand. It's not political. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Political. I'm not, I'm not really. <laughs> okay. Okay. Political in, in any way. All right, and then we've got, it's not political, and then I'm not political in any way, and then I put Biden and 1,000. Let's see what I had for 1,000. What was I thinking there? 1,000. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, and that's, a, that's not, and then you think I'm kidding, but no. And then so it's still biden the whole time so let's go back over here and see if i can you think I so let's just do just biden now so we can pull him in here and then we've got this one so this is a good one and so i don't think i can remove the background on this one i'll just add the image bouncy and so you think i'm kidding but no I'm serious. All right, but no, I'm serious. Let's just add one more. And that should get us to the end of this bit, this line. Maybe this one. I'm going to get rid of the background and then just make it large and maybe bouncy. I meant to the bouncy thing. I'm experimenting with that. What? But aren't you? Okay. So wait, that was it. Let's make this one a little bit smaller because I like that last image. And then we're going to say, okay. And then now we could put him back to, let's take the bouncy stuff off, uh, remove the bouncy. How do I remove the bouncy? I forgot how to do that. Get, oh no, I see. I remember. Okay. Then you can just delete those off. I'm going to put the background back on and then I'm going to put this one small and put the narrator's back. So now the narrator's back. Boom. And I'll put him on the left because now the narrator's talking. And maybe when he's talking, I make him bounce. So I'm going to say he's talking now. So he's bouncing. But, but aren't you the one? So then we can say, aren't you the one? Da, 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 da. Aren't you the one that set the wheels? in motion stack the corrupt legal flames and who stands to benefit so we've got 140 so now i've got 140 so that's supposed to be uh the the narr i used to do these with my guitar thing so i had some images that that were going to be the guitar guy talking so i'm going to say he's kind of another representation of the narrator but, but aren't you and so let's cut this one and put this guy in there. And so this was an AI generated rock star and he's supposed to be pointing. Let's, I don't need to remove the background, but I'll make him bounce because he's talking. So now I said, set the wheels in motion. So then let's go. Uh, I put, here and here and then which one do i want to keep i could keep this one and i could say the wheels in motion 
Let's bring this one down. And then on top of that, I have wheels that I put in motion. So now I've got wheels in motion because they're falling down the hill. So I'm going to say, okay, let's put this one to the right now. Maybe I flip it because I like having him point into the middle of the screen usually. So I'm going to say, let's go back on over here and Y axis 180. So now he's kind of pointing the other way. And then I'm going to add my wheels that are in motion. Boom. Put the wheels in motion like so. And so I could crop that or do some other stuff to it, but I just motion. do it. Stoke the corrupt. And then I say stoke the corrupt political flames. So I'm going to cut this one now and I'm going to put the wheels on this side and I put political flames. So let's put this here. And then I had stoking the political flames. So, so now I'm just going to add Biden with this, with this, uh, stoker thing. So here's the Biden images. And then I had this stoker thing. So he's going to be stoking the flames. So I can delete this one, but I can keep it there as well. I'll just keep that there. And then I'll put Biden on top of it again. So let's put Biden back in here. This is my favorite Biden one because he just looks he just looks out of it right there. And then that's what he looks like normally until they put him until he gets it. They, they jack him up with his son's stash of crack or something. <laughs> that's, and then he will let's make this one smaller. And then he's like, I'm stoking the flames. And then we'll put the stoker in here. So here's the stoker. And I asked it to give me a stoker without a background so I can remove the background easy. So now I can just say, get, get rid of the background. So Biden is holding it. It's like, I'm, st I'm stoking the flames of the political fire. Where's the twister thing? I don't see the thing I can twist it. Well, oh, that's the wrong twisty. Uh, here we go. So now he's stoking the flames. See, uh, it's twisting. There's usually a handle I can, okay. And then I'll make him larger so he can hold this thing. And now he's stoking, he's stoking the flames. See, I'm, see? So I could probably make that better. Maybe I should have the stoker bouncing or something. Like, what if I put a different thing on the stoker? What would that do? Nah, it needs to bounce. It needs to bounce. That's shifting. What's the corrupt legal flames and who stands to politically? <laughs> Where's the bouncing one? Isn't there one called bouncing? This one's wiggle. If we make it wiggle. The corrupt legal flames and who stands to whatever. I can play with the behaviors later. Politically benefit. So then I had politically benefit. So then let's do this whole bit. I'm going to cut that out. And maybe I make this all as one thing because now it's taking up too much space. So maybe I group it together like this. And then I say, make it uh, right click and group it, make it a group. Boom. So then I can make the whole thing small. So I can put the next bit on the side and still have that one where he's stoking the flames. But now i wanted to put like this thing where he's benefiting indicated by this this guy standing on top of the world so he looks like crazy guy standing on top of the world but with biden's head on it so we're gonna go once again our favorite biden head I'm ruling the world. I'm on top of the world. Here we go. And then we could put, see, we put, and then we put the head right there, see. Oh. I will tell you, it's not political. Dang it. From jailing the second most. Okay, and then, and then, 
So let's do that. And then I had the second most. Let's pull this over here. And then da -da -da -da. likely person to remove you from office, Democratic. And let's keep that here. And then likely. the first most likely being, of course, death. And so then death is going to remove him from office. So let's remove these. I had a picture of death that I found. So maybe I just pull that one in like this. And so here's death. And so we'll just keep a straight up image of death. Death by self-imposed. And so then I wanted to say self-imposed ice cream. So now I'm going to cut death. I'll put him on this side and maybe 180. So he's pointing to the middle of the screen. I like him pointing in the middle. And then I'll add Joe Biden with his eating ice cream. Now these days you can't you can't really make an AI image of him eating ice cream. You used to be able to do it, but now the AI got lame and they won't let it. So you can find someone eating ice cream and then you can put Joe's face on it if you wanted to. But I've got some older ones where they used to let me. So add him eating ice cream like i don't know like this one they're not great maybe this one this one's funny looking so he's eating ice cream that's not a real image i'm not trying to impersonate you know it's an ai image that's why they won't let us do it because it looks kind of pretty much real i guess but uh, they let us do it to george washington you can make george washington look like whatever you want but not biden because whatever ice cream it's not political though it's not political <laughs> And then we're going to say, all right, the first person being death, death by self implode. Okay. And then, and then, so then we're going to, so then, so then he's coming back in. Biden's coming back in here to refute this. We'll start it off with our favorite and just go clip the screen on that one. Boom. And then crop. And then making it large. And then you could always, we could do a behavior on it. Maybe he's shifting. This one is jump and fall. That's the one I want. Of course that's true. But and then you could, of course, I could like increase the size here, which is kind of fun to do sometimes. So like you might say, like, I'm going to cut it here and then make them larger and then I'll cut it here and then I'll make them larger and then I'll cut it here and then I'll make them larger and so you can really see you can really see those eyes you can really see the depths of <laughs> of my conscience and then we're going to say all I ever do is follow my leading me, Jiminy Cricket. So there's Jiminy Cricket. So I had, okay. It was follow my conscience. So we have over here, he, now he's going to follow his conscience. So we have 230. I put over here 230. And so 230 was here. And then, and then I, I was going to put Joe Biden's head on it. Well, that's what I put in my notes. So now I'm going to say he's following his conscience. So then I can say, here's uh, this guy. And then I'm going to pull in, once again, Biden on top with our favorite image. And then we'll remove the background. And we'll just crop it. And we'll take his head. And he's like, which one am I going to follow? I don't know. I can't figure it out. But that the guy on the the guy on the right really makes a good point. I tell you, I, I find it hard to argue. The little Jiminy Cricket. So there's the Jiminy Cricket. We can put this. Maybe put this on the side. Maybe I maybe I group that and put this over here. So I have Jiminy Cricket now. So I looked up Jiminy Cricket. And so to do there's Jiminy. I just follow my little Jiminy Cricket. I might crop this a bit just so I can have both of these on the screen. 
Like, maybe like there? Leading me to the make the best morally correct dis- Alright, and so on and so forth. Now, I won't go- I'll stop it here and then I'll go to the movie- the movie stuff, but just so- so this is- that's basically the idea, so I can- Dude! That court Here's case what... was a total sham! The legal system wielded like a weapon to attack a presidential political rival! Yeah, who would have thought we'd see this sad banana republic day in America? No! You don't understand! It's not political! It's not political! I'm not- I'm not really political in- in any way! You think I'm kidding, but no, I'm serious. What? But aren't you the one who set the wheels in motion, stoked the corrupt legal flames, and who stands to politically benefit from jailing the second most likely person to remove you from office, democratically? The first most likely being, of course, death. Death by self-imposed ice cream-induced brain freeze. Well, of course that's true, but... But honestly, all I, have, all I ever do is follow my conscience. The little Jiminy Cricket leading me to the make the best morally... So I think it would be better if I put it... Well, anyways, that's the idea. So you see, you can get a, you can pretty easily get a, get a nice little kind of movie script by, by just adding AI images to it, right? And, and, then, and then again, it, you could get a little bit of animation in there. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's un underutilized. If you're offended on the Joe Biden thing, I'm sorry. I apologize. But I just think that that's funny. I just, you know, this is the political thing is kind of, is just kind of funny, I think. But then, then we can add the movie clips on top of that. So now I can say, okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add these movie clips. Now, if you add the movie clips, then I usually think of them as kind of a meme inserted so I can hear the audio or sometimes a lot of people when they're, I, you can copy people that do movie critiques. Uh, the, the one that comes to mind is like nerd Roddick, for example, he, you know, and I'm not trying to promote anyone on that, but I'm just saying his editing and a lot of their editings. Uh, another one is like, uh, the little platoon or something like that. I think it's like their editing is quite good because they put interesting stuff on top of it and you can kind of cheat with movies because you can actually get the movie clips which are basically really uh really nice because they're movie clips they're nice they should be looking nice so that's a great background for people to just have kind of like some eye candy on the background with some really nice ones but they also are really good at picking up the right script even if they're talking over it where the guy's basically saying something that coincides with what's being said here. And I think from a comedic standpoint, or that is done way better than any of the comedians are doing or any of these stand-up narrative comedies are. All the people that are doing like the Gutfields and the John Stewarts and whatnot. Like if you took their bits and you combined it with the editing of some of these movie critics like a Nerd Roddick or a Little Platoon or something adding movie clips into the jokes scripts in creative ways that would be you know that i think you would add a lot of value to to what's being done and i think partially they don't do that with the joke scripts because again i think there's personally i think there's a a, a skew in the algorithm so if you talk about like joe biden and you're not like and you're not a large on the platform or whatever, you're going to, you're probably going to get shadow banned or whatever it seems to be the going, <laughs> going thought process. So people, I don't think people are applying some of these tools to political satire in the same way they are when they, when they go after movies, but I think they should apply to political satire because it adds a whole lot of value uh, to, to it. And, and I'm, and I'm not claiming to be an expert on it. If you look at some of those, Again, some of those people that do the movie reviews, whether you agree with them or not, whether you like their personality or not, look at the editing they're doing. It's way better than, than what's happening in this political satire stuff. So what could you do? What could you do then next? I could like, I want to group all this stuff together so that I can put the movie clips either on top or in between these items. That's the way I do it. 
Now, when you group things, it actually slows down your computer sometimes. So this is like the dangerous move. You might save this first. Like sometimes I'll save it here and I'll say, give me a save on that. And then maybe even save it again. I might save as and then say, I'm going to save it as like uh, a number two or something like that. You also might want to touch up your audio here before you add the other audio clips. Sometimes that makes it a little bit easier as well. So like on the audio, when I record it, sometimes I'll add this compression just as a default. And then I'll make sure that it's mixed so that it goes in on both ears on the headphones. And then I usually f go to full mixed uh, here. Correct decision possible every- So that's generally what I would do. And then I'm going to group this whole thing. And I'm going to say group this. Ah, oh, hold on a sec. I'm going to undo that. Undo. I want to group everything. So I'm going to group this whole thing. And right click. And then group them. So now when I cut things, it's already, it's already there to cut. So now I have in my script the movie clips that are, that are in green, which I can pull in either from the resources that I have, like the streaming platforms, like an Amazon or a, or a, uh, a, 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 a Netflix or something like that, or I have a clip to YouTube, or I have the downloads that I got, say, from Yarn, for example, here, and I can just pull these in. So the first, the first clip I had here was this bit from Johnny uh, English. And so, uh, so I don't want, I had this, this is on a streaming platform that I have it, but I don't want, you can record the streaming platforms, but I don't want to get into issues of the settings and whatnot to record on streaming platforms. You can look those up later or somewhere else. Uh, because I, I don't want to get in trouble for it, but I think you should be able to do that legally as long as you're recording stuff that's within the five minute, five second clips and whatnot so that you're not in copyright rules. Remembering that as we edit this stuff, we always have to kind of keep in mind the copyright things. And what do we have to keep in mind with copyright? Well, a couple things you want to be adding something. If you're adding value and adding other stuff that is part of your new creation, and not just basically mirroring the other content, then you would think it's more likely to be in copyright fair territory. So, but uh, the general ideas would be if the shorter the clip, the more likely you're going to be in fair territory. If you don't use the audio and you just use visuals, you're most more likely to be in fair territory. Music often causes you problems. So if you have a movie clip that has music in it, you know, be careful of the movie of the of the music that's involved that's often runs into more copyright it seems to me than the imagery or the words and then and then you can also use some cropping techniques that we might take a look at so let's go through it dude that court case was a total sham the legal system wielded like a weapon to attack a presidential political rival yeah who would have thought we'd see this sad banana republic day in america now, if I was to put a clip in there, I can then cut this whole thing. I'm going to use S to cut it, and it cuts everything because it's in a group. And then whatever platform I was on, I could then record it and then go to the, go to the platform, and I can record just the, the uh, system audio and the screen image. Again, I don't want to do it for, like, streaming platforms because I don't want to get in any kind of trouble or, or recommend things, but you can – I think you should – be able to get however you get the movie clips whether that be on youtube or streaming platforms or from the yarn as long as again you use them within the fair use territory is 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 my take on it as a non-lawyer take but that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking so i'm just gonna no, skip that one until we get understand. to one of these it's not political it's not political I'm not, I'm not really political in, in any way. You think I'm So I'm not political in any way. And then I had a break here. Now notice that sometimes it's easier to, to increase the size of this track so that I can see where the audio is broken. And then within the line, I can put a, I can put a break to make sure it's in the cut and the line. And then I'm not political in any way. I put uh, 1000 
1,000.1, 1,000.2, 1, I numbered them here. So I had 1,000 to 1,000.2. So I could pull these in, possibly. So I'm going to say, all right, let me pull this one in. I got these from yarn, so they're already in like a, a format. I've cut it. And because I've cut it right here, I can just pull it right in, in there. So that's nice and easy. I can crop it and edit it as I go. Sometimes I think it's easier to add them and then the next layer go back and edit them. But I'll edit them as we go now just so we can see the process. So usually the audio has already been mixed, but I'll change it to mix. You could add the effect on the audio that I did over here. Sometimes the audio is too loud. So sometimes I bring the audio down to like 85 or something. Up on what ground? I'm shocked. So I put shock to find gambling, 85, 85. Let's make this one 85. Boom. And then, and then sometimes you, uh, you might put something on top of it. This, that might help you with the, and, and there's one in Camtasia here that has a standard device. So now it's going to embed that on a computer which makes it not full screen, which might make it a little bit more likely not to be a fair use thing because it's not full screen, right? So, and then on this one, same thing, I could pull this onto it. You can also find green screens like this on, you know, resources out there. Some, many of which are paid for to find these kind of resources, but some are not these days. It's, it's easier to find them. And then if you still think that there's a problem because it's a long clip, you might break up the clip more so that it's going to be a running gag throughout your script or and or you might also even go as far as to put something over the top of the of the image such as just saying hey look this is fair use fair or just something that bounces on top of it fair use i think they added that spell check i don't think that was there before and so that might help to just say, hey, look, this is just a meme I'm trying to do when you upload it to like a YouTube or something. You think I'm kidding, but no, I'm serious. So you think I'm kidding, but but no, I'm serious. Did it, you think I'm kidding? And then Biden says, and th th there's another one where Biden was saying something. So I could look up an image or where Biden says, you think I'm kidding, but I'm just gonna finish my running gag here instead. So I'm just gonna then say, I'm gonna put this clip over here. And so now I've broken up that scene a little bit, again, making it less likely that it's gonna hit a copyright, it seems to me that way. And then I'll put this here, I'll make it larger. I might have to reduce the audio sound to like 85. So now if I if I look at that movie clip in it, I added it to me like a meme, which has kind of a, a you know, kind of a running bit inside the bit. Oh, I'm not I'm not really political in, in any way. How can they close me up on what ground? I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. So I put that in there because it seems to me that mirrors the hypocrisy of saying I'm not political in any ways, even though I it's clearly kind of looks like a political hack job against my chief political democratic rival. You think I'm kidding, but no, I'm serious. What? You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you. So now he's collecting his winnings to show the hypocrisy in this particular scene. It's clearly designed to show hypocrisy. But aren't you the one who set the wheels in motion, stoked the corrupt legal flames, and who stands to politically benefit from jailing the second most likely person to remove you from office democratically? The first most likely being, of course, death. Death by self-imposed ice cream-induced brain freeze. Well, of course that's true, but but honestly, all I have, all I ever do is follow my conscience. The little Jiminy Cricket leading me to the, make the best morally correct decision possible every time. So now here, this one I found on the YouTubes. So now here's the here's the link. And here's the the location within the link. So I've written that down so it should be as easy as possible. 
So here we have it. Now, now Jack is your conscience. So here's the conscience. So he pulled out the noble phoenix, which is I'm I'm mirroring this to like I'm thinking about this according to our narrative as similar to the court system, the noble phoenix. And then he's using the court system as a flamethrower, right? That's how that so so I thought that was a good mirror to to my mind over here. Now again, how could we get that? We could go to the simply record it right but i don't want to do that here because i don't, I don't want to like tell you to tell you to do something that you know might be not but i would think that it, any way you get this clip you could probably find it on yarn as well if you keep it within the copyright area then it should be you should be good to go it seems to me i don't want to get into legal Which problems that's my that's my book as a bookkeeper as a non-professional editor or copyright lawyer. Uh, and then this one, 120, uh, 120. I had no idea. I had no idea. Which sometimes just happens to benefit me politically. So this one, I had one that I found that said, I had no idea. I had no idea that that was you must be kidding me. So this one I think is short enough that it probably doesn't run into copyright. It's to benefit me politically. I had no idea. And right, I so I thought that one is a nice little clip that fits in there and that I think coincides, which sometimes happens to benefit me. And, and I can understand how that might look suspicious. And so, okay, so I had this one. I can understand how that may look suspicious. So then I had suspicious, and then I put this one in with uh, the Simpsons. You can see how quickly I can kind of pull these in. I'm not looking for them as I'm going because the editing process is pretty fluid now because I've kind of looked up generally what I want beforehand. And so this one, because I have two of them, I might then add the little thing on it so it looks like this. Uh, and then let's do it here and then make it large and then i'll change the audio to 85 and then over here maybe same thing boom uh hold on it won't let me do it well whatever it's already on there that's why and then make it 85 so then it might look suspicious may look suspicious Hmm, this looks suspicious. So I thought that would fit in there decent, but I'm actually, but I'm actually not benefiting. So, do do do. Really not benefiting from political corruption here. So then I looked up of something that says, it's not what you think. And I found this one that I thought could fit in there and I could just say, okay. So am I going overboard on these? Possibly. Too many memes, over memed, maybe. But you know, that's up to you to to judge. Whoops, eighty-five. In from political corruption here. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. I'm just receiving like good karma. So I'm getting good karma. That's and then that's what's really happening. You know, like cosmic justice. The cosmos rewarding me for following my little, my little Jiminy Cricket conscience. So he's got good karma. So I'm going to say, and then I, that's a, another great Simpson line that was in there. And so do, 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 we could say, okay, he's got good karma. Let's just make that large. And hey, it's called karma. That's what's really happening. And you know, it's actually. Okay, and that's as far as I got with the images. So let's just take a look at what we have thus far. Dude, that court case was a total sham. The legal system wielded like a weapon to attack a presidential political rival. Yeah, who would have thought we'd see this sad banana republic day in America? No, you don't understand. It's not political. It's not political. 
I'm not, I'm not really political in, in any way. How can they close me up on what ground? I'm shocked, shocked to find that I put fear use. <laughs> uh, maybe that was a little, a little Freudian slip there, but should have been fair use. I'm kidding, but, uh, <laughs> but no, I'm serious. What? You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. But aren't you the one who set the wheels in motion, stoked the corrupt legal flames, and who stands to politically benefit from jailing the second most likely person to remove you from office democratically? The first most likely being, of course, death. Death by self-imposed ice cream-induced brain freeze. Well, of course that's true, but but honestly, all I have, all I ever do is follow my conscience. The little Jiminy Cricket, leading me to the, make the best morally correct decision possible every time, which sometimes just happens to benefit me politically. I had no idea. So that's the general idea. I had a bunch more movie clips, but I only added the ones that were here. And again, you might, I might overdo the clips, but that's the general idea. And if you have that layered kind of approach, then I think you can, you can actually, once you have everything set up, you can actually just, once you get to the recording, do it fairly easily, right? You could just record it, layer on top of that, the images that you have referenced, layer on top of that, the memes that you already have referenced and and the record and that whole recording editing is like pretty fun that way it seems to me because the whole process i think is pretty fun because coming up with the script is kind of fun and then looking up the ai images to me is hilarious because it's because they're they're pretty funny and then looking up the video clips i think is pretty fun to do as well and then once we edit if it's all organized then it's really easy to just to just put it to construct it and I think that's fun too.